What's up friends, welcome back. I'm so stoked for today's episode of Breaking Bad because as far as I know, this was kind of like a mid-season finale when it first aired. And so I cannot imagine the cliffhanger that you guys got left on with this. And so because of those circumstances, I'm expecting some pretty shocking things to happen, especially towards the end of this one. But it's definitely gonna be hard to beat out the shocking things that happened at the end of the last episode, losing a huge character in the show in my I was very sad to see him go, especially in the way that he did. Even Walter admitted it was completely unnecessary and a rash decision. And so he just continues to go more and more downhill, just dragging everybody down with him. And I don't know if that move is going to necessarily affect the way that Walter was moving along now because Mike was already technically out of the business by that point. And I don't think he was going to be involved in a working relationship with him anymore. Although if Jesse finds out that could cause a lot of issues for him but I think the main thing that that could affect is Hank and the DEA's investigation because if all of a sudden they can't find Mike anymore and if they somehow find out that he's dead then that'll send them on another wild chase and as I mentioned during last episode I believe I have no idea how they are going to wrap up all the story points and tie up all the loose ends with just the remaining nine or however many episodes are left and so I am so excited to check out how it's all going to play out specifically in these next couple that I'm going to watch here and so hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for this episode if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people and helps the channel out you can always check out my full-length reaction to these episodes on patreon link for that is in the description below and they are always uploaded before the YouTube edits so you can get them a good ways ahead of time by going there and of course you'll need your own copy of the show to watch along with me but without further ado let's go ahead and jump into episode eight <laughs> another fly prominent in an intro hopefully it's not going to be as abstract as before Although the fly last time represented his regret over Jane and his other mistakes, so maybe it's returned because now he has more regrets. His bad decisions keep haunting him. Mr. White? Hello? Still can't believe Todd is working for him right now. I know at some point that dude is going to make another completely ridiculous move, like killing somebody or messing up some operation. Car's been dealt with. No one tailed you? No, I stayed off the main streets and kept checking, so... Man, got rid of all the evidence. I mean, there's nothing else he could do at that point, though. Can't risk anybody finding out. So should we deal with this other thing now? Sure. Oh man, it's gotta symbolize the same stuff if they're making the fly imagery so prominent. I don't wanna talk about this. Okay. It had to be done. Okay. Todd is his absolute dream pupil, man. He just goes along with anything. Man is just happy to be there. Jesse is here. Oh my gosh, this is the absolute worst timing. There's no way he finds out right here, right? You get off safe? He's gone. But what about those nine guys? They got no reason not to talk now. So what do we do? We? Who's we? Oh no, dude. Jesse one time goes against him and now he's just out completely after everything he did. Poor guy. There is no remorse or hesitation in that man's face right there. Holy cow, Walter is freaking cold, dude, at this point. And unlike the last time there was prominent fly imagery in the show, it seems like it's not really affecting him as much emotionally anymore. <laughs> Walt Whitman again keeps popping up. I'm going shopping for someone who can tell me something I don't already know. I got plenty you don't know. I got eight other assholes just like you, four of them within 100 feet from here. So settle in, Dennis. <laughs> 
Hank such a legend just goes in on him. He is a hard hitter. Is Hank going to find out real quick about Walter? Because I mean, what other significant information could they share with him? I assume he's meeting here with her because of the names, the other people on the list. I'd be afraid of I were Lydia because Walter is much more rash than Mike was. You do have the list. Yes, I have it. It's just not written down. And why is that? It's in my head. Safe right there. And I suggest you pick up a pen. She's playing her cards right, man. She is smart. She's protecting herself well right now. Guaranteed your safety. You guaranteed I'd be safe from Mike. There's no way he'd ever go for this. You getting rid of his guys. We wouldn't be doing this if Mike were still a factor. She is a quick thinker, man. She is much better at this than I gave her credit for originally. And you have to deal like this with Walter because if you don't, you are out. I can grow your business exponentially by helping you expand into a larger, highly active, highly profitable marketplace. Now she is speaking his language right here. He was all in for the empire business. 5% of its 10 million people are using Mac. You keep your market here, but by adding overseas sales, you can more than double your current profits. Oh, Lydia just bought her ticket back into the upper echelon of the business. There's no way Walter's going to refuse an offer like that. Why didn't you pitch it to Frank? I did. He said yes. We were in the final stages of working it out. And somebody killed him. Whoa, fascinating. I would have never guessed. You don't think Gus Frank built his distribution network all by himself. There are considerable advantages to diversification of distribution. Dude, Lydia is a way bigger player than I thought originally. She has certainly risen up the ranks in the first couple episodes of this season. With Frank, my end was going to be 30%, which I believe is more than fair. Okay. Trust me, if you do this... Lydia, learn to take yes for an answer. <laughs> He's actually going along with it. This is wild. He's just slowly taking over the entire operation and everybody's responsibilities bit by bit. We're going to make a lot of money together. Wait a second, bro. Did he slip that into her drink when I wasn't paying attention and neither was she? I think maybe he rethought things, but he was planning on it originally. That is crazy. This man is psychotic. Just a constant loose cannon. Todd, I think it's time I meet your uncle. I say we go with a riot. Our boys get it done in a riot. No, no, no. No chaos. Oh, he's meeting with the uncle so he can get rid of the nine guys. He's not wasting any time, man. Just getting straight to business. Taking out all these guys is doable. But hitting him in three separate jails all within two minutes? Whacking Bin Laden wasn't as complicated. <laughs> Walter has always been one for the theatrics. Go big or go home with him. I've seen this one before. I wonder how they all some giant warehouse oh i remember that painting now it's been what like two seasons since we've seen that or maybe it was last season but i remember wasn't it in like the hospital or something you saw it i love all the little callbacks this does it can be done just not the way you want it it can be done exactly how i want it Dude, his responses to stuff is so hilarious. He is so confident in himself. As always, he is infallible in his own eyes, and it gets him into trouble so many times. Great editing right there, dude. They are certainly making sure these guys are dead. My gosh. Oh, jeez, this is a fantastic sequence right here, dude. I just know, though, that this is gonna make Hank even more pissed off and more involved in the process. Oh, jeez, bro, that's so brutal. Well, those guys sure are not gonna be talking. Holy crap. Hi, honey. Dinner will be in about an hour. Oh, brilliant frame, man. I cannot wait to see if Hank interacts with Walter right here. How much longer can he go on keeping up this facade? Yeah, I was just getting ready to leave. Just a little drink. 
Um, yeah, sure, thanks. He is sticking around. What is he doing? And it's for a drink. Every time he drinks in his company, something bad happens. Hank has got to feel so exhausted after all of this. His constant efforts. And he's basically right all the time in this show. And yet he still falls short every single time. I've been thinking about this summer job I used to have. Marking trees in the woods with this orange spray can. Crews would come in later and find the trees are tagged and cut them down. Where is this going right here? I feel like this is about to tie in in a big way. Sounds nice, being out in the woods all day. I've been thinking about that job more and more lately. Maybe I should have enjoyed it more. Tagging trees is a lot better than chasing monsters. Great dialogue right here, and I also had maybe a little bit of a light bulb moment with how it connects. He's talking about tagging trees, and then people come in and cut him down. In a way, everybody that he's interviewing, Walter comes in and takes him out, so I don't know if that's how it relates. What a transition, dude! How did they pull that off? That was so well done. Reminds me of when they did it with the boys in Jesse's apartment. Man, well, everything is going really well for him this episode. He's accomplishing his goals, everything that he was setting out to do originally. And he has so much less to pay out to other people, too. <laughs> Yo, this is phenomenal, man. This is also a very relaxing sequence, too, just because everything is going smoothly and the music and everything are great. It's got to be one of their best montages of the show. You seem good. I'm hanging in there. We've been thinking maybe time to take the kids home. Oof, that is not going to fly with her. She wants them out of the picture until Walter is out of the picture. Hard to expect them to basically raise their kids for him, though. We're starting to worry maybe we're enabling you. Sweetie, you've had a lot on your plate. And I'm so proud of you for going to therapy, by the way. You know that, right? <sighs> Man, this is hard stuff for her to hear when it's not really her fault for the situation they're in. Gotta be so emotionally taxing just to live a double life constantly, but not want to be there, unlike Walter. Oh, that was a great shot right there, just letting us live in a bit of suspense. Wonder if the kids actually came home with them. I don't know if that was their intent, but that's what I got from it. I would assume that means that Skylar said, not right now, we're not taking the kids back yet. Take a drive with me. Whoa, what is she planning right here? It's been a minute since she and Walter have gone anywhere together. Oh, is this going to be all the money they're stashing away right now? If that's all of it right there, how the heck are they going to play this off in the car wash business? How much is this? I have no earthly idea. <laughs> it's got to be over a million, right? Because we haven't even seen close to that in this show yet. There is more money here than we could spend in ten lifetimes. I want money kids back i want my life back is she gonna ask him to quit right here because he will not accept that probably gonna make him more angry hearing that <laughs> Is he getting tested for cancer again? Is it actually going to come back? Because I would have never expected that to happen at this point. Whoa, they never fixed it after all this time. I remember when Walter went absolutely berserk on that thing, man. This time, though, if the cancer did happen to come back, I think it would be a horrible thing because it wouldn't make Walter want to provide for his family after he's gone. It would just make him want to do as many rash decisions as he could before he died. Hi, what's up? No, I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd... Drop by, say hello. <laughs> that 
That's never been the case before. He's got to want something from him. There's so much more awkwardness between them right now. At least they're not angry at each other. Saul told me what he did. Anyways, um, I'm not in jail. You aren't either, so... There you go. He doesn't look too upset about what happened. I mean, he was protected too because of it. I'm not coming back. I know. So why are you here? Exactly. Oh gosh, dude. I got real nervous all of a sudden. Jesse knows everything about Walter, about the business, but yet he's not working for him. He's not going to take him out, is he? Remember the time we ran out of gas coming back from a cook? Ah. Gage always said half full, so you had to walk three miles with a jerry can while I waited on the side of the road. This is not good, man. I don't like when they had good conversations like this because I know something bad to contrast yeah. is coming. No, I, I gotta get going. Yeah, I'm just yeah, meeting no, up me with too. some I, friends. I gotta get going as well. I left something for you. What? Did he give him all the cash that we just saw? That would be so well deserved if that's the case. Also, I'm so relieved that he left without hurting him. Oh, I see it wasn't all the cash. It was probably just the money that he owed him from before, right? At least he's paying his debts that he's owed after all this time. Jesse is fully out. Oh, I did not suspect that. Jesse was ready to protect himself if he needed to. Can't blame him, though, because I was along the same line of thought. I'm out. No, I don't believe that for a second, man. He said that before to her and just lied. I don't see him passing the reins to anybody else. I was worried that the episode was going to end right there and then I would be like, that's a gigantic cliffhanger. Something else has got to happen though. There's no way Walter gives up just like that. I mean, I would be glad about it. You can play around with it. You can take them in and out with your hands. Great news, dude. The kids are back. Things are progressing well. It's amazing what this show can do, though, because nothing frightening is happening right now, but I am so freaking nervous for no reason. You want anything? You want anything? No, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh no, Hank's gonna find something here, isn't he? There's no reason for them to show that to us right now or show this to us unless there's something gonna happen. Oh, the Walt Whitman book! This isn't going to give him any ideas, is it? Holy crap! Bro, no way! It's what Gabe wrote to him! Holy crap, he's gonna realize! I mean, who you figure that is? Willy Wonka? Walter White? <laughs> you got me. <laughs> no! I can't believe it ends right there! Holy crap, Hank actually figured it out, bro. It only took five seasons, practically. Oh, dude, my condolences to those of you who had to wait whatever, how many months it took to get to the next episode of this. I cannot imagine that. And the fact that they cut it off while Hank's still in the house. Are we going to pick up while he's still there? How is he going to play things? This is what I have been waiting for, dude. I cannot believe he finally figured it out and of all places for it to just be casually in the whites bathroom like that that is just brilliant and i love how they cut back to show that moment when he read it before and just kind of having it click with him as it's clicking with us just such a well done sequence but oh man i can definitely see the next couple of episodes and maybe the rest of the show just get absolutely insane i don't know hank has always acted super fast when he knows something and he is so efficient and 
it's just a little trail, but I mean, it's enough for him to kind of put things together. Although I still think he's going to need physical proof to actually do anything, and so he might not reveal his hand just yet. He might just play things a little bit slowly and just kind of keep an eye on him for now. But oh man, I'm so freaking excited now. My intrigue and interest for the show just peaked right there. <laughs> Such a great moment. So satisfying, especially because we've been waiting for it for so long they definitely took their time in getting to that point point. and also if Walter was actually being honest and genuine when he said he was out earlier which I still have my doubts about that would be the most unfortunate timing for Hank to discover something like that because if Walter was getting out at that point there would be no reason for him to hop back in like he had previously done because he was basically at the top of everything that he wanted to get to and so his top level of joy and contentment with his life is immediately met with the greatest threat he's ever faced in the show and so I am so excited to get into the next episode again man I don't know how y'all did this when you were watching it live if you were watching it live because I would have not been able to stand the that month long or however long wait that the showrunners put you through and so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching along with me for this episode hopefully you will enjoy watching along with me for the next one as well and if you did definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel out and of course you can check out my full length reaction to these episodes on my patreon link for that is in the description below and they're always released before the youtube edits so you can get them a good bit ahead of time there as well but until the next episode and all the craziness that I'm sure will come. I will see you all later. Peace.